Asbestosis is one of several diseases associated with the inhalation of asbestos fibers over a long period of time. It is unknown what level of exposure to asbestos, if any, is safe. Even family members of asbestos industry workers are at risk for contracting asbestos-related disease from inhaling fibers brought home on the family member's shoes and clothing. Unlike many other diseases associated with asbestos that can be caused by things other than asbestos, asbestosis is only caused by asbestos. There are no other potential sources. Asbestosis usually takes between 20 to 30 years or more to manifest itself after the exposure. Asbestosis is a type of lung fibrosis. This means that the sacs in the lungs where fresh oxygen is transferred to the bloodstream and used carbon dioxide is filtered out become filled with fibroid tissue. The fibroid tissue, which is like scar tissue, builds up until the lungs cannot expand properly in order to allow the sufferer to take in full breaths of air. What air does make it to the lungs can't transfer into the bloodstream. As a result, the person has a debilitating and potentially fatal respiratory illness. Symptoms of asbestosis progress as the disease gets worse. Usually there are no symptoms or very mild symptoms at first followed by a gradual building of the number and severity of symptoms. One of the early specific symptoms of asbestosis is shortness of breath or dyspnea. The shortness of breath is most noticeable when the person is exercising and as the condition gets worse, even occurring when the sufferer is not exerting him or herself. It can also begin to feel as if a great deal of effort is required to take a breath. And in fact, this is true. As the scar tissue builds up in the lungs and they become more and more stiff, it requires more physical effort to force them to expand to allow the taking of a breath. These problems are diagnosed and measured by conducting lung function tests, tests that measure the lung's ability to hold air and the amount of air that can be exhaled with force. Other symptoms include a persistent dry cough, chronic fatigue, chest pain that gets worse on a full breath, also called pleuritic pain, unexplained weight loss, and a crackling sound in the inhalation when a doctor listens to the lungs with a stethoscope. A less common symptom is a thickening of the ends of the fingers called clubbing. And sometimes associated with this are changes in the appearance of the fingernail. As asbestosis gets worse, it can lead to other medical complications that have their own signs and symptoms. Once the scar tissue has built up to the point it causes serious trouble with the lungs expanding, it can also cause high blood pressure of the lungs, pleuritic hypertension. This in turn can lead to heart problems, including an enlargement of the right ventricle and ultimately heart failure. Continued exposure to asbestos makes the associated conditions worse, so it is important to avoid continued asbestos exposure. It is also important to avoid smoking, which makes all of the conditions worse. There is no cure for asbestosis except by transplant, though doctors can treat the symptoms. There are medications that improve lung function, and in some cases, doctors may prescribe oxygen. In other cases, portions of a very badly scarred tissue may be surgically removed. For those types of cases, doctors may look at the lungs more closely with either a CT scan or with an endoscope. If masses are seen, they may use an endoscope to do a biopsy of questionable tissue without doing full surgery. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by asbestos.net, a leading resource on all aspects of asbestos and mesothelioma. Our priority is to inform victims about the devastating effects of asbestos exposure, mesothelioma, asbestos cancer, asbestosis, and other asbestos-related diseases and to advise them with a wealth of information. Individuals whose lives have been touched by mesothelioma have numerous questions and concerns. Their caregivers and family members also need accurate, reliable information. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or asbestos cancer and need more information, we invite you to visit and explore the thousands of pages of oncologist-reviewed material on asbestos.net to call our convenient toll-free number shown below and speak with a mesothelioma specialist, 
or to use the simple contact form found at asbestos.net to request a free copy of our informative books, custom inserts, and DVD. Asbestos.net, information and help for patients and families.